All right, guys, so you should have your square piece of paper that's nine inches by nine inches, your ruler, and your eraser to get started. Um, so this is for anybody who has not had the chance to um, start setting up their impossible room, and then we'll go through some of the things that you'll need to have on there. So half of nine is four and a half. So I'm gonna line my ruler up. This piece here is gonna be level with the paper. I've got it circled on my ruler. It's halfway in between four and five. I make a little line. I'm gonna turn my paper, my ruler here. Again, I'm lining up at the edge. Half of nine is four and a half, so I put it there. Okay, where these two cross at, so I'm just gonna extend those lines a little bit. This is gonna be my center point. Okay, this is my vanishing point. And that's gonna be really important because all diagonal lines will go through to that. Okay, now I'm gonna go corner to corner. So from the corner of my paper here, through the center to the other corner. And I'm drawing lightly. And my ruler's not quite long enough, so then I just scooch it down a little bit. I'm gonna rotate the paper into the opposite side. So I'm going from this corner through the middle to this corner. And this is to set up my back wall. Scooch that down a little bit. Okay, so I've got this big X on my paper, ready to keep moving. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that my ruler is parallel with the bottom and I'm gonna scooch it up and then over. And if I measure this, I'm looking for about three inches from my back wall. Rotate the paper, move up from the bottom. Make sure it's parallel to that edge, this edge right here. So we don't want our ruler like that. It's gonna make a wonky back wall. So make sure it's parallel. Get about my three inches. Rotate the paper, do it again. Okay, so I come up from this back edge, shift up and over, find those three inches. Rotate my paper again, parallel to the bottom, shift it up, scooch it over. I've got my three inches. Okay, now, when we look at our back wall, we're gonna erase out the X that's inside my back wall. Okay, so inside the box, I erase everything out except for my vanishing point. Now, I wanna make sure that the back wall looks correct. So when I see a corner here and my line is coming straight out from the corner, that one's good. Okay, but over here, I missed it, and over here, I missed it. So I gotta redraw those lines. So I'm gonna start by erasing those. Then I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna go for my vanishing point through my corner of my back wall. Okay, so vanishing point through the corner of my back wall, and I'm just gonna redraw that line. Okay, now it comes out of the corner, we're good to go. Gotta fix this one now. So again, I'm through the vanishing point through this little spot right here. Okay, now my back wall's fully set up, I can erase out these little lines that I was using to show you. You guys starting to see it? Now we've got the back wall ready to go. Okay, so the first requirement that you have is to include a bed or a couch. Now, we gotta think about the rules of one point perspective, which is that any vertical or horizontal stays parallel to the paper and any diagonal goes to this vanishing point right here in the center of the back wall. So you have a couple different options for the bed. Okay, here's one option, a bed that's kind of off to the side. We could also do a bed that's kind of centered. Okay, here's another example of a bed in my little candy themed room. Okay. So we'll start with a the bed, then we'll try a couch. For the bed, again, I wanna be parallel with my horizontal lines and I'm drawing lightly. Shift my ruler over, drawing lightly. Get my vertical line going, I'm parallel to the bottom of the paper. Okay, we don't wanna be able to see through my bed, that'd be weird. So I'm gonna erase that out. Now, these three corners, one, two, three, are all going back to this vanishing point. Okay, so I take my ruler, I line it up to the corner, 
through the vanishing point. Don't know how big I want my bed to be yet, no big deal. Okay, from my corner to my vanishing point. And then the last one from my corner to my vanishing point. That one's a little bit trickier. There we go. Okay, now my bed is ready to get its back edge here. So this is really important to keep this parallel. So look, I just take my ruler and I slide. Cut it off, take my ruler and I slide. Okay, now I'm gonna erase out the other one. So again, I don't wanna be able to see through my bed. Take those extra vanishing point lines out. Okay, and then I can kind of fix up my lines a little bit. Okay, once I'm here, now I can start adding in stuff that kind of goes along with my theme. So you saw in one example, um, I did a little Skittles box. I got my bed spread on there. So remember, if they're horizontal lines, they stay parallel. If they're vertical lines, stay parallel. Only the diagonals go back, and I had this idea of spilling those out. Um, another example. Okay, so I added on a bedspread, a pillow, some bed frame ideas. Okay. So if I wanted to add some more of those here, you know, I could take that horizontal and vertical line out. I could also change the shape of the bed frame and I would just change it on that back edge too. Okay, I could add a bedspread. Now let's say I wanna make stripes on my bedspread. Those will have to go back to my vanishing point. So, and these are all choices that you're making. So this is not, you know, required by any means. Um, this is where you get to kind of incorporate some more of that creativity. Okay, so those are what some lines will look like on here. Notice I brought all those back to my vanishing point. And I would do that same thing down here if I wanted to. Okay, so that's our bed. Okay, I'm gonna rotate my paper and show you a couch. Okay, so first we wanna get the side of the couch. It kinda looks like a bubble letter L. And again, I don't wanna be able to see through it. So, poop, get rid of that. Got my armrest on there. It's a goofy little armrest, I like it though. Now, from here, I've gotta take one, two, three, maybe even four different spots back to my vanishing point. So I line up my diagonals from the tippity top to my vanishing point. Okay, then I get this little piece. And then I decided I wanted to do this one. And then I'm even gonna do this little guy down here. Okay, so I've got my couch started. And then I just need to repeat this, rounded, rounded. Okay, I've got the armrest. It sticks out a little bit, and then I've got that piece that goes down. Okay, and again, I shouldn't be able to see through my couch. Go ahead and take those off. Now, if you wanna add like a break in the seat cushions, this also needs to be rounded and it needs to match that. You guys see how those all look parallel. Okay, so there's my little couch. And then I could go in and add my details to it. Maybe I wanna make it like a tufted couch. In my example, I made it into a giant gummy bear couch. It looks kind of creepy, but whatever. You know, live your best life. Okay, so the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a window, rug, or a poster, okay? Now, for this one, you're gonna start with your horizontal line. Okay, I'm gonna make this a rug over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna scooch up a little bit. I think I want the rug to be about this big. Okay, those are parallel lines. Now my diagonal has to go to my corner. Shoop. And shoop. Okay. Now, how do I add details to this? Well, if I wanna make it a TV, even the inside lines have to come here. So I'm gonna redraw some of those because you know like TVs have like a frame kind of deal. So I'm going with that route. 
vertical and horizontal lines stay parallel to each other. Okay, maybe I'd put Samsung, little power button. What's gonna be on the TV? A giant lollipop. Okay, so that would be a TV. Okay, what about a rug? Okay, let's say I want the rug to have stripes. NVD, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna make these like little candy land, little patches. Okay, and I'm lining everything up to my vanishing point. Now, if I wanted to make this like a checkerboard, that's a popular pattern. Add my horizontal lines, you would be measuring this, I'm kind of eyeballing it. Okay, and then I could even shade in. Obviously you wouldn't do this with your pencil, I'm just trying to give you an idea here. Okay, that could be a rug. Um, okay, other ideas, wanna do an old school TV. Just kind of round off those edges a little bit, but notice those diagonals still come back to the vanishing point. Okay, what about more of like a poster? No big deal, if I wanna have writing on it, that writing is gonna fit in this little box where I've drawn um, towards the vanishing point because the text gets smaller as it gets closer to this vanishing point. So that's gonna be important. Okay, so I've got my better couch, rug, TV, window. Okay, oh, so let's say we wanna make it a window. So. My diagonal line has to come here and then okay so here I've got my little window I could add some drapes to it and then I could put my field of lollipops outside okay so that would be like a window Okay, next up we're gonna add a table. Now you can add a, um, really any kind of table that you want. It could be a dresser. If you wanted to add something like a dresser, we could have um, more of like a coffee table. It could be square or circle. Um, so that kind of those design choices are up to you. But remember, we wanna keep rotating the paper um, so that it really gives it that surrealist vibe. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put a dresser right here. So to start that out, sometimes I'll just use the base of the ruler to get my lines down. So I want the side of my dresser to be about that big. Okay, again, these three corners go into the vanishing point. So I line it up and I draw my line. Line it up, draw my line, line it up, draw my line. Okay, I'm gonna slide from here, parallel lines, over. I'm gonna slide from here, back. There we go. Okay, again, I don't wanna be able to see through the dresser, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, if I wanted to add drawers in here, um, the front part of the drawers are gonna be parallel to there, and then maybe on the bottom I'm gonna have some smaller drawers. Okay, on the diagonals I have to take it back to vanishing point. Okay, so I've got my little dresser drawers there. Clean up all those lines. Okay, so that's a dresser. What about a coffee table? Yeah, let's say I want a coffee table kind of right in the middle here. It is easier to do things that are squared, I'll be honest with you. But if you're struggling to find something that you like, um, you could always Google circular coffee table, one point perspective, and you'll find some stuff. So my horizontal lines stay parallel. Then I get my diagonals going back to my vanishing point. Oops, 
So that's my tabletop. Um, if I want this to have like a little bit of a lip to it, no big deal. There's my coffee table. Okay, I can add in details like a lamp. That's just a vertical line with a shade on it. Easy peasy. No diagonals there, so I don't really have to mess with how I'm drawing it. Okay, there's my lamp. Okay, so we've got two different types of tables you can use. We've talked about this being a rug, window, poster, TV, anything like that. Okay, uh, now we're gonna add something on the back wall. Okay, other options that you have, a good light fixture can kind of place this. So if I want my light fixture hanging down this way, I could drop this line down. I could create my light fixture here. Again, I wouldn't be on, want to be able to see through it. So I might change that. And maybe I want this to be melty ice cream. It's got like, it's dripping down a little bit. Okay, on my back wall. I could add a clock. I could add a door. I could add anything that goes along with your theme. And because it's on the back wall, um, we don't have to worry as much about the vanishing point. We're just gonna kind of draw it like we normally would. So there's my little door. Uh, now I'm feeling like this side is missing a little something. So I'm thinking like, what else could I add? Well, I kind of want to add like a Candyland path. Okay, these lines stay parallel to each other, remember. So that could be my little candy land path. I could be looking up like what other candies could I put in there. Um, we could add some texture. Okay, let's say I want um, oh, like wood, wood grain or something, like hardwood floors. Okay, so I would draw my lines there. Those all went back to my vanishing point. And then I could just space out those textury things. There's my little nails, okay? If I wanted this to be um, checkerboard, I would get all of these lines drawn, okay? And they're going back to the vanishing point. And then I would do my horizontal lines and I would choose every other one to shade in. Okay, so that's another option. Um, so I want you to go crazy creative with this. Make sure you have something on each of the sides um, so that you can really mess with um, the perspective of this thing. And, and feel free to add more. If you're like, I want a bed and a couch, go for it. If you want both kinds of tables, go for it. If you want something that you haven't seen me demo, that's when you're gonna start Googling to try to figure out, um, can I figure out how to do a one point perspective? Stairs, stairs are so fun. Let's add some stairs in just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so stairs are like a lot of vertical and horizontal lines. So just like prepare yourself to be best friends with your ruler right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start a stair here. I'm gonna go about an inch over and then we'll go an inch down. Inch over. And I'm keeping these parallel to the base of the paper. Horizontal and vertical stay parallel. Okay, now the only difference here, we have way more points that we have to take to the vanishing point, way more um, corners. So we've got to take all these to the vanishing point. Okay, vanishing point is right here. Not gonna make it a big set of stairs. It's gonna be kind of a little set of stairs. making sure my ruler's lined up the whole time. Okay. Now very important, making sure that this line matches this line. Come on and get all my horizontal pieces now. Erase 
spacing out those extra lines. Those can be kind of confusing when I'm trying to get this all lined up. Make sure it crosses over that corner, otherwise it's gonna mess with the perspective. So do you see how that kind of looks like an arrow? If we don't get this line going straight into the corner of the stairs, it's gonna look off. Okay, now I can erase this out. Maybe I've got one of my cartoon characters hanging out on here. That's why we're working all in pencil because nothing's gonna be perfect yet. Gotta give ourselves some grace when we're working on this part. Okay, so we've got a set of stairs now on my impossible room. Uh, what about a shelf? Let's say you want a shelf on here. Okay, I'm gonna start just by drawing a little rectangle. Okay, and then all of these lines are gonna come back to my vanishing point. I'm gonna put it below, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. I freehanded that, but you could use your ruler to line it up perfectly. Actually, I need to because you might have noticed that did not look square to my paper. So sometimes I think I can freehand it and then I'm like, no. Okay, so these three corners go into the vanishing point. Okay, I've got this line here. This one's the hardest one to get. Again, I'd be sliding my ruler over to check it. I'm just kind of speeding a little bit. Okay, now I've got that on there. What am I gonna put on here? Another lollipop. Psycho gummy bear, maybe. Maybe he's like trying to climb up. That's where the creativity comes in, faux show. Okay, so you guys are going to do great. Pause the video as you need to. Use other resources like YouTube to help you as well. You got it.